teachers, doctors and airport staff need to be alert to the problem of forced marriages over the school holidays, the government has warned. Ministers said there were concerns about teenagers being taken abroad thinking they were going on holiday but being forced into marriage instead. Figures suggest cases are particularly common during the summer break. The government's forced marriage unit received 400 reports between June and August last year. Recent estimates suggest more than 5,000 people from the UK are forced into marriage every year. More than a third of those affected are aged under 16. The government is calling for increased awareness, and is promoting an advice line and information cards aimed at potential victims to explain how they can get help. Tougher action, Foreign Office Minister Mark Simmons said. The school summer holidays are the time when young people are at the highest risk of being taken overseas for a forced marriage. Our marriage, it's your choice cards highlight that people who are at risk of forced marriage know they can turn to our forced marriage unit for support, whether they are at home or are already abroad. Ministers said it was wrong that teenagers who should be thinking about their exam results found themselves lured into a life of fear and subservience instead. Anita Prem founder of children's organization Freedom Charity, said, It's vital that young people traveling abroad for a family wedding this summer realize it could be their own wedding they'll be going to, and know who they should contact for help should they find themselves in danger. Manchester City Councillor and forced marriage campaigner Sami Molly said little had changed in the 30 years since she was forced into a marriage in Pakistan at the age of 13, although we are more aware of them. No questions are being asked. It has to start in schools. The teachers have to start taking on board the safeguarding of children. They have to start talking about these issues, she told BBC Breakfast. Because if they don't talk about it then the young people aren't going to feel comfortable in talking about it, and it's going to be a taboo subject for the next 30 years. And I think we need to get over that. She added that she did not believe criminalizing forced marriage would make a difference within her community. It's going to send it underground. No young child wants to put mommy and daddy in jail and that's the bottom line. Shadow Immigration Minister Chris Bryant welcomed the raising awareness of these issues. But I can't help thinking that, given it's been weeks since pupils and teachers started their holidays. It might have been more useful if Jeremy Brown and his home office colleagues had thought to do this before schools broke up for the summer, he added. The government is also publishing plans to follow the example of Scotland by criminalizing breaches of forced marriage protection orders in England and Wales. This could mean parents found guilty of forcing their children into marriage may face a prison sentence. Crime Prevention Minister Jeremy Brown said. This is a serious abuse of human rights and that is why we are legislating to make it illegal.